Hi, Matt McAleer, Director of Equity Strategies at Cumberland Advisors, just after the close. John Mousseau, President and CEO of Cumberland Advisors. Nice to have my colleague John with us today. What we're going to talk about today is some of the analysis we use to try to position capital in the equity strategies. What have we been seeing the last week, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days that we pay attention to? And the chart I'd like to share with you is a Dorsey Wright chart. You've heard me mention Dorsey Wright as a firm in the past. We use some of their work. This is a chart is, that is going to try to guide us to what is working from a relative strength standpoint. And the first thing to mention is when you see green, that means strength. When you see red, as you would guess, that means weakness. By the way, that doesn't mean weakness in terms of losses. We're talking about relative strength, which are buy and sell signals versus each other. So if we look at the top left, equal weighted right now is the place to be versus cap weighted. We're getting better performance equal weighted. That's information. The market's trying to tell us something. What it is telling us there is the market has broad strength. It's not jammed into the NASDAQ 100 or the S&P 500. We have to respect that. We take a step down and see what's working from a asset uh, size standard. Small cap growth, mid cap growth, small cap blend, mid cap value. How about that? Starting to see some value as strength. If we go back a year, 12 months ago, 24 months ago, 36 months ago, this left hand side was dominated by large cap growth. So we're seeing things start to change. What do we want to take advantage of there? Well, we go down to the third area, consumer cyclical, financials, technology, industrials. Those are some of the areas that continue to work, but maybe not specifically in the large cap area of those specific sectors. We can do that for commodities and international equities as well, which we do. These are, this data is calculated daily. I tend to review it weekly. Don't want too much noise. But what it does is help us position capital. And more importantly, it fights our bias. Our bias may say, I just want to be looking S&P 500 here because over the last decade, that's been the place to be, right? right? What data shows us, what trading price shows us is right now, that has started to change over the last 12 months. If we look at the last 12 months, small cap growth, mid cap growth have outperformed the S&P 500 by about 10 percentage points. That's reflected in here. Does that mean that's what it's going to be going forward? No, but we'll watch this for changes. So I just wanted to share some thoughts because I have to thank everybody for replying. The number of survey uh, replies we got was overwhelming really appreciate it. But some of the notes uh, often talked about letting in viewers, clients, and friends on some of our process behind the scenes. In the future, I'm going to get into more holdings, more names that we own. Why do we own them? So really appreciate the feedback. That's going to help us design a video that's helpful and interesting for you. Moose, take it away. Thank you, Matt. Um, this week we saw interest rates continue to creep higher. Ten-year government bond went from 157 to 165, up eight basis points. It was actually about five basis points higher yesterday, a little back and in filling today. Thirty-year bond basically uh, went from 204 up to 209, up, up five basis points. Yeah. Very similar movement in munis. Um, it should have. Looked at some of the numbers this week. Continuing claims, job, you know, continuing jobless claims down, initial jobless claims down again, now below 300. That seems to be the, the, the new rate. It was before that, it was below 400, now it's below 300. All good signs the economy is continuing to, to pick up speed, especially as the Delta variant kind of goes into the rearview mirror. And look at the sectors working on the equity side. Right, right. Exactly. To, to feed into that thought, John. Exactly. Energy, strongest sector last 30, 60, 90 days. Financial, second strongest last 30, 60, 90 days. Third strongest might surprise people, basic materials. 
strong economic sectors. Right. And we think it's still only the beginning on this. We saw Fed Chairman Jay Powell come out this week and said, yes, they are going to start tapering. And yes, inflation is stickily higher uh, than they thought it would be. We have thought for a long time here at Cumberland that inflation would stay stickily higher, particularly when you start factoring in wages. In addition to that, we have a chart here showing the two-year Treasury bond yield. In a month, it's gone from a little over 0.2%, almost hitting 0.5. What does that tell us? That tells us that the short-term bond market, short-term yields, which have been moribund for the basically a year and three quarters no since everybody knows. marched out <laughs> the door on March 9th, 2020, are starting to pick up. And that tells you that the market is now starting to also factor in a Fed that's going to have to probably bump up short-term rates down the road. So, you know, does it mean a lot today? No, not when you have short-term yields as low as they are and inflation fairly high. But it doesn't tell you nothing either. It's, right. it's telling you that the market is starting to move to the next juncture. Market's always sharing information with us. Exactly. Right? And, and next week, of course, we'll have uh, initial jobless claims and durable goods, and we'll continue to tell the story. Well, thanks, Moose. Great information. It's always important to look at price and performance in bonds and equities together. They feed off each other. And when you see the two asset classes complementing what your thought process is, gives you a little bit more confidence in what you own. Absolutely. And, and on the bond side, we think this rise in rates uh, will eventually over the next few months present some opportunities to maybe move portfolios out a little bit and capture some additional yield. Good. Well, enjoy the weekend. Again, thank you for the response to the survey. We'll see you next Friday.